Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is ThinkPad X1 Carbon Yoga Gen 3 laptop. And somehow the Windows is corrupted. So what you're gonna do is here, sorry, it's, it's very difficult to see. As you can see, it's a third generation ThinkPad X1 Yoga. So we're gonna reinstall the system. What do you need to do? We need to have bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. The procedures are same, so you can choose whatever you'd like. So today I'm going to install 11. So first things, once you created it, connect it to any USB port. And also, don't forget to connect your charger. This is really important. Once it's done, we're going to open up. Now, to get into BIOS, what are you going to do? We're going to press enter mm -hmm. button again. F1. So first things we need to go to config. Once you go to config, we're going to go to USB. Enter USB. As you can see, the USB UEFI BIOS support is enabled, which has to be enabled. Fine. ESC again to go to the main menu. Not date and time. Go to security. From here, a couple of things we need to check. If you'd like to install Windows 11, go for secure security chip which is TPM. Hit enter. As you can see, TPM 2.0 version is enabled. Make sure that is enabled. Then press ESC button to go back to the main menu. And from there, we're gonna go for secure boot. Okay, hit enter again. Make sure this is enabled. If not, hit enter, enabled it. That's fine. And rest everything, we can leave it as it is. Press ESC once to go back to the main menu. And then start up if you press the right arrow from here we can go to the boot menu hit enter again and we can leave as it is why because we're gonna um, okay let's show you how to do that for example let's say USB the bootable USB we only put it on the top priority so what we can do either we can uh, minus plus okay so shift plus as you can see it's going up and up good now we're going to save everything and the system would restart so press f10 hit enter now it's going to restart from that one and it would load up the windows we don't need to press anything now next install now Accept the terms and condition, hit next. Now there are a couple of options as you can see. If you would like to do fresh installation, you don't want any data, then go for that one. Now there are many partition, you might have the data. So before you delete or format any partition, make sure you back up your data. Otherwise you're gonna lose everything. So from here now, we're gonna delete all of them because I don't have any important data. Okay, select another one, delete. Okay, select another one, delete. Okay, select the last one, delete. Okay, all good. Now if you hit next, it's gonna load up everything. So finally everything looks fine windows 11 installation has done correctly if you do have any comment please make sure you leave it in the comment section and if you do like please subscribe to this channel i hope i'll see in the next video bye for now